connection. What's up, guys? We are here again for our podcast, the best podcast. In the, in the Philippines. The number one podcast in the Philippines. This is your boy Coffin Casio. And Luis Gordasso. How you guys doing? By the way, if you haven't watched the last episode, I just want to say Happy New Year. Happy New Year, man. May you guys have a wonderful year. Hey, 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 hey. 2024. How are you, my Big brother? Big things coming. To amen. This year. Amen. How are you? I'm okay, man. Uh, every time I see you, I'm okay. Oh, my gosh. You make me <laughs> blush. <laughs> <laughs> and today. We have a guest from Latin America, my Latin friend. America. From Latin America, Latino, calientes. <laughs> Here on the studio, round of applause to our guest. My God, thank you so much for coming. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. I mean, thank you so much for making time for us. We appreciate to have you guys here on the podcast. How are you guys doing? <laughs> good, good. Thank you so much for inviting us. Um, this is our first time in a podcast, actually. We are. Podcast virgins. Oh, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah well, it's only it's our first time, but we are very excited to talk with you guys and <laughs> learn a little more about this culture. You know, mm -hmm. we are yeah. really fans of podcasts, but we have yeah. it's our first time actually. Okay. Yeah, we so watch a lot of podcasts. Podcast. You do? Yeah, we do. So I hope. Be careful, I, you will get addicted. Yeah, it's addictive. I, exactly, <laughs> and I hope we're gonna have a great time. I hope yeah. I mean you guys will enjoy the podcast as well. Probably when you guys will be on the couch watching this, you guys will be like, "Wow, we did good." So, yeah. are you hungry, by the way? I'm super hungry. Um, man, to be always, honest. because they, I, I'm sure that they brought something for us. Oh, you did. We so did. We can, okay. And believe me, believe me, it's good. Yeah. But believe me. I haven't tried it yet. Is what time is it right now? It's twelve. 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 I, I, literally, I literally just woke up, didn't even have my coffee, didn't have my, I like my breakfast. I guess it's the best Coffee's watch time. is lunch time, dinner time, dinner <laughs> that's how his watch works. Yeah, I, I mean, I so eat a lot. We are uh, lunch time. Well, exactly. <laughs> so, just before we start, can you briefly introduce yourself to the audience? What's your name and what's your name? Yeah, yeah sure, sure. Uh, my name is Alicia, mm -hmm. from Venezuela. Um, I'm 32. Well, almost 32. I, I turned 32 right now in February. Um, what else can, do you want to know about me? Um, <laughs> when, I mean, what about you? Like, ah, I'm okay. gonna get you. Yeah, what about you, brother? No, uh, my name is Andres. Mm -hmm. I am 30 years old, Venezuelan, as you said. Mm -hmm. uh, we have around seven to eight years living in the Philippines. Wow. Yeah. wow. So, uh, yeah, we are, we are here. We, we, we already feel like Filipinos, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. yeah. so I always say Filipino Ako. <laughs> Filipino Ako, yeah, yeah. Because, uh, like, do you feel like you're kind of Filipino? Is it because of how Philippines is kind of related to Latin America? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we related so, some of the things here, like the regular life, mm -hmm. uh, to our culture, you know, because for for me for me personally i think philippines is one of like latino countries in the asia yeah That's right yeah, i mean sure. a lot of similarities mm -hmm. uh, uh, language language as well language we, is have, one of them. We, we share some words that in the spanish are the same mm -hmm. it's yeah. which makes even easy for me to learn uh, english in the beginning because I, when i moved here to for the first time i didn't know even oh, how to say hi so, yeah, he was yeah. zero English, and he learned so fast. Actually, when he came here, I don't know if you remember, but he only had Filipino friends. Oh, yeah, that's wanted, good. No, that's the best learn. way. Yeah, yeah, that's the too. best way when you, yeah. when you go abroad, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. when a Latino moves to another country, they sometimes make the mistake of having Latino friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so they don't and limit they, themselves, yes. yes. So ah. they don't learn the language. Uh, I, I did, I used to, I already knew English, so for me it was easier, yeah. but for him, he learned so fast, right? <laughs> because of his Filipino friends. I'm still learning a learning curve, mm -hmm. especially because, you know, English has like a lot of slangs. Yeah. And in different countries, you, you can find different words or, or ways mm -hmm. to say something, but mm -hmm. at least I can now understand. And, 
Uh, you're, doing world, you're doing great. You're doing great. Please correct me if I am send, saying no, something you, wrong. But one Feel thing, free. <laughs> I always say to my Latino friends, don't lose the accent. It's so charming. The Latino accent is so charming. Yeah. It's really yeah. difficult to lose it. Exactly. Yeah. Don't, 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 don't lose it. I don't, don't think we it. will. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, so that's great. So, and you, I mean, you, you have been here for seven years as well? Or? Yeah, yeah. Uh, he came like one month before I did. Okay. So Just we have the same time. You guys are a couple, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was telling uh, mm. Luisa, we have been together like for 10 years for 10 years yeah. and what made you guys come to the philippines well originally it was his brother mm -hmm. his brother had a friend that uh, she was living here and working here mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. she told him hey there's like job opportunities yeah. here for spanish speakers <coughs> um, his brother came he got a job um, in, in the company that we work currently mm -hmm. uh, and then he told us like hey apply there's uh, positions uh, so we did, and then we came with our company. Oh, so in, awesome. wow! So you, you have been in this company for how long? Yeah. Eight years. Yeah. Wow, that's yeah. amazing. That's great. That's, that's great. That's but, what it calls liability, my friend. Yeah. Like loyalty. Exactly. Yeah. Loyalty. Loyalty. I mean. Loyalty. So yeah. And what did you guys like? Uh, know, I mean, knew about the Philippines? Okay, you guys knew that there was a job in here or job opportunity, but like culture-wise, what did you guys? Honestly, I didn't know anything before I came here. Mm -hmm. Like, I started learning when I already knew that I was going to come here, mm -hmm. uh, right? I don't know if you knew something, Andres? Uh, well, basically, when you are in the Venezuela, and especially in, you practice any sport, you know, for sure, Pacquiao. Pacquiao <laughs> yeah, is Pacquiao. what it's like. <laughs> Philippines, Pacquiao, that's it. That was, that's what, that was what I know about Philippines. Mm -hmm. And everybody was like, hey, where are you moving? I'm Philippines. What is it? Some, yeah. of, some of my friends there <laughs> and I have to explain that it's in a country in Asia and then mm -hmm. they say probably some of them are like ah Pacquiao la, la, la. <laughs> but that's all mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. so yeah we start here we move here and uh, we say like new. no let's go ju just for two years <laughs> yeah. yeah that's yeah. same yeah. man same many right? people that say that like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I came here for a project six months <laughs> and then six yeah. months six yeah. months only and then we turn you're about to become a father exactly, exactly. <laughs> so the building roots a are deep already <laughs> you're building family building film like a family already I mean that, <laughs> so that's great but I mean like, let me ask you guys this how was life in Venezuela before coming to the Philippines well, I mean, it, of course, you all know that Venezuela is not in a good place right now. Mm -hmm. And at that time, it was starting to get uh, really bad. So that's why we were like looking for an opportunity to go, go out. Mm -hmm. um, but of course, like we didn't want it to do it like people that just goes and see what they find. I wanted to do it in, in kind of like in a safe place, you know, like where I had a, a job where I could move and I could not, a, I could do something that was related also to my profession because mm -hmm. I didn't want it to kind of a, get like whatever job, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, so that's why we wanted to have something that was stable. Um, but yeah, it was not the best moment in my, a, when we were in Venezuela. I mean, we, it's not that we were doing really bad, but we know it was getting into a place that we were not gonna enjoy it enjoy, anymore yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, we always we always hear things from venezuela that it's it's not that that free it's not uh, some things are control so do you feel this freedom when you first got here because uh, we had also a friend from cuba and uh, she mentioned that once she left the country and she sees that some things are allowed in other countries it's like a freedom feeling. So did you guys feel like this? I mean, I, I feel free to do some things that otherwise it's, allowed, it's not allowed, it's forbidden in my country. Well, I don't think not forbidden, but I believe money-wise, we, well, of course we had more chance to do things. I don't know if you felt something that we were not allowed to do there than here we... Uh, well, um, oh. Venezuela in, the mo in 2016, that was the year that we moved here to the Philippines, was in a very difficult situ situation. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, for me, it was more than how, how this country impacted me in the beginning, like uh, uh, opportunities-wise, right? Mm -hmm. Like yeah. offers, I mean, I, I, let's say in the moment that I decided to apply for a job, I had 10 options in the list. So. That was the first the first shock for me, like oh, this good is job. something exactly. Job. exactly positive job. Uh -uh. 
And then that's how this country impact me in the beginning, right? And then of course, uh, I mean, 2016, maybe people that will watch this video know that, I mean, we were lacking of products as well, uh, basic products, medicines. And then uh, you go here to Mercury Drug, it's like full at the beginning, yes. right? Yeah. Now it's like, that's how it should be in every country, right? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's how we start wow. our journey here, like wow. finding a job, looking opportunities, enjoying everything, mm -hmm. every, uh, uh, meeting new people as well. <coughs> For me, it was uh, as well like very happy. I was very happy because, I mean, almost seven to eight years ago, mm, there were less Latinos than in comparison with yeah, now, yeah, right? Exactly. We have more. You, wherever you go, you can see now Latinos. <laughs> yeah. But there are there were like Filipinos like me, I met, and they say, "Oh, you are the first Latino that I met here in the Philippines." Oh. So that makes me feel like Re special, spe yeah. special, yeah. Yeah. special, right? <laughs> and there are some like, "No, you are the first Venezuelan." Yeah. How it is? Yeah, How? Yeah, yeah. And they compare Venezuela com with Venezuela. That is Venezuela. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's a joke they always do with our yeah. friends from Venezuela. Venezuela. From Venezuela. And, and they compare like Spanish with Chavacano. With yeah. Chavacano. Right. It's not the same, right? It's, it's almost the same. Almost so the same. Chavacano yeah. is like one of their languages, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Chavacano, is from it from where? Zamboanga? No. I don't remember I from where. Zamb yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Zamboanga. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, I think, yeah. I think, I think uh, it's from Zamboanga. So, by the way, let me just ask you this. Since you guys have mentioned 2016, the country, was not in a good condition. And where did you guys like get the courage, both of you, to leave everything behind, the family, your friends, your childhood, mm -hmm. to come to the Philippines? Where did you take that courage? Well, it was, like Andres said, in 2016. Um, uh, honestly, for me personally, I have always wanted to kind of live abroad. Of course, I love my culture, and mm -hmm. after being abroad, I mean, I kind of appreciate it more before exactly. than I was there, exactly. you know? Uh, but uh, I always had it in, in my head. And example, Andres, he was actually studying, right? You were studying in the university, and he actually dropped off university to come here. Uh, it was a big decision, but we, I believe, and we have spoken about this recently, that we actually had a very easy migration, very easy migration, because we heard stories about other friends that have <clears throat> moved to maybe Spain or United mm -hmm. States that they, I mean, it's not that easy, you know, like no. this country, it has given us so much like financial stability, emotional stability, friends, friends, <laughs> friends. people is so welcoming here. Like I have never met any other country that is so welcoming with foreigners, mm -hmm. you know? So for us, it has been like a super easy ride, a super happy ride, and I think we appreciate it that much. That's we awesome. appreciate it a That's lot. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I, I think we, we share the feeling, right? Do you mm. love the Philippines? I do, I do, I think. <laughs> I, I do, as, I mean, I've been here for going 10 years now. Wow. wow. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going. And, going. and just for the record, you're supposed to stay for? Only for five years. Yeah. <laughs> Only for five years because I only hit, I mean, I mean, it came only for my studies. So mm -hmm. after, I mean, after my study, I was like, okay, I gotta go back home. But after it, I was like, okay, I wanna stay longer. So, um, I mean, okay, you guys have, I mean, you have mentioned about like you getting the care, I mean, I mean, courage. So, 2016, literally coming here, I'm pretty sure, please correct me, as you said, the opportunity to work here as a foreigner, especially as a Spanish bilingual, it was super. I think in demand, and there were only few people, right? If I if I'm not mistaken. So, but I mean, how is it right now? How is like I mean, opportunity for bilinguals in the Philippines? Well, based on what I observe, yes. there are more people. Of course, there are more competition outside. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, before maybe with a few <laughs> English, with a very little English, mm -hmm. you can uh, you can apply for a for a job mm -hmm. and, get a, and get the job. Mm -hmm. Now you have a. You have to speak better uh, and compete with more Latinos that are out there finding a job as well. So, I mean, the, I think the opportunities are still there, but it's not easy as before. Yes. That's the what, bar I, what are I'm higher. thinking. The exactly. Bar exactly. So you, for people that used to message me, hey, how is everything there? Because still people want to move here. 
a lot of people out there. And I say, come, but come prepare, yes. <laughs> right? Yeah. With, 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 with feel first willingness to learn, to adapt to the country because you are the one who needs to adapt. Yeah, that's nice, that's beautiful. Uh, second, of course, you have to try to speak, speak English mm-hmm. as fluent as you, as much, uh, as better as you can. Uh, and and yeah, and you can find a job probably, but it's not gonna be easy as I, it was for us mm-hmm, mm-hmm. seven years ago. Yeah. Did you guys help or influence someone to come oh. to do the same path <laughs> as you? <did? laughs> Actually, <laughs> what did you say? What did you say? Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Actually, we have. I mean, we have brought so many people. I mean, not so many, like, but m- more than ten. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> under 10, <laughs> under 10. Under 10. Yeah. Uh, I'll, 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 let's give an example. My sister is here, mm-hmm. oh, right? Nice. She came also, uh, like two, like four friends, some wow. uh, some of his uh, brother's <laughs> ex-boyfriends, like, you know? <laughs> I think it could be around 10 people, no, more right? Than more, 10 people. more, more than, than 10. 10 people. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. how do you guys feel it, like, in imagine? You guys got inspired, you guys got the courage to come, and everybody probably saw how well you guys were doing in the Philippines, how was your life here in the Philippines. And as a person, how do you feel helping your fellow brothers Mm -hmm. to come overseas to try a better life as well? Well, We love it. I mean, I love love it because uh, we get to share that experience that we're living here Mm -hmm. because it is great. I mean, you have like, First of all, financial stability, mm-hmm. that I think that is one of the things that many Latinos want, especially Venezuelans, mm-hmm. um, and also the opportunity to learn something totally different, mm. you know? Different um, culture. Different. Exactly, different country, they get to travel, uh, they have brought their couples, mm-hmm. you know, they, their wives, their boyfriends, their children. I mean, my sister came here with her husband and her child. To be uh, honest, in our building, we have more than five or six friends from our country, from, <laughs> from our, our city. city. Wow. So, Where are you from? So you don't get homesick then? No, we are from San Cristobal, Táchira. Táchira is a state. That's in the border with Colombia. Yeah. Okay. Actually, we, we can talk a, lot, a little bit mm-hmm. a lot about mm-hmm. that. Uh, mm-hmm. Our city, it's just 45 minutes to, Drive. to Colombia. Driving. Colombia. I mean, you can go... From Cali, right? Uh, from uh, Cucuta is the name Cucuta. of the city. Okay. Cucuta. Yeah, we are uh, we are almost Colombians also. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, we are we have been very influenced from Colombians since mm-hmm. we are very close to them. So actually, people in Caracas, the capital of the city, think our accent in Spanish is a little Colombian. It's but a little I mean, Colombian. we are Venezuelans, which uh, were influenced with a lot of uh, Colombian culture. Mm-hmm. So yeah. we eat their food as well, mm-hmm. or we share mm-hmm. some. We mix our food. Uh, and we understand even their culture, their mm-hmm. music, their the artists, coffee. their coffee. Yeah. Actually, the uh, coffee from Colombia. I haven't Colombia. tried the coffee. Haven't the coffee, coffee from Colombia coffee. is the best. We one. don't drink Venezuelan coffee. We drink Colombian, Colombian coffee. coffee. Colombian coffee. Oh, I haven't tried. It's the the only one is better is from Brazil. <laughs> 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 but, so but yeah, we have brought a lot of people. <laughs> so and and so you don't get homesick then. I mean, it's easier. It's, it's easier, easier because we are within friends. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, we do get our homesick. Uh, and it's mostly because our food, you know, at least for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, my food. Uh, As you can see, also, it's an issue for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for me, too. <laughs> uh, our food. I, I miss also, like, um, I don't know if it has happened to you guys because you're also foreigners, mm-hmm. but when you go to a place... Uh, maybe to dance, you know, when you when you go to a club, mm-hmm. uh, and of course you don't get the music that you can get there, mm-hmm. and you don't get like the vibe yeah, from, yeah, there. from there. Yeah, yeah. You know, but but I heard now they are like, uh, especially like uh, in Poblacion, they're like um, they have so, Latinas, so. Latina mm-hmm. night. Uh, yeah. Is that how you say? They are. They are. Yeah. They are. Just but recently, they are starting to start, having yeah, yeah. Have, some yeah. Latin parties, Part, yeah. which some of our friends used to go there. We mm-hmm. we also try to go and visit and pl- and, and share with them. But it's just recently. Yeah. Before it was like complicated. Or they say, for example, 
ah, we have Latino music, and then you go, it's La Gasolina. Okay, that's Latino, <laughs> but that was like 15 years ago, uh, something like that. We need, we want something new, right? Uh, and that's not only La Gasolina. Yeah. And not to mention people dancing. I mean, I, in a Latino place, yeah. we, we dance with other people. I mean, I'm it, kind of like different. just thinking, when was the Latin party that we, we went together? Yes, yeah. exactly. We went yeah. together. But still, yeah, yeah, yeah. but still, people dance with each other with nice moves. <laughs> I mean, uh, exactly. it's awesome. So uh, we don't. It, you so guys that, dance? Uh, yes. <laughs> he doesn't dance. He's just kidding. Stop lying. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, I'm sure you dance. I'm, I'm sure I'm, you dance. Uh, yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Latino, man. Uh, for for the cameras, he dances <laughs> really good. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I, I mean, uh, here they, I, I think they are a little shy because, yeah. because it's not part of their culture. As much as they want to embrace, and they're mm -hmm. extremely open with that, and it is awesome. But anyway, no, uh, I mean uh, sometimes yeah. the way we, like, I, I mean, I'm I'm from Angola, right? Mm -hmm. So like Angola was colonized by Portugal and stuff like that. And we have I don't know I don't know if you guys know Kizomba. Yes. Kizomba yeah. originally started from Angola. Kizomba, Tarashinha, mm -hmm. Zuki, it's more like um, Cape Verde, right? So, and the way the dance is like, really? <laughs> really tight. Really, exactly, really, yeah, yeah. really like tight. Sexy. Bumping it. Bumping <laughs> it. <laughs> Do you get it? Yeah, believe me, in Latin America, it's the same. Oh, I mean, every, we are yeah. also, we have some music influence from mm -hmm. Africa. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And there are people that say, wow, you are so sexy. No, this is. We yeah, dance, we dance, dance. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You can dance with your mother in that way, and exactly. then yeah. nothing yeah. happens, you know, with it's your like mother, with your uncle, with your sister. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's weird, but for some people, but we do it, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true. Because I've been telling my friends, oh, back home, this is how we dance. I'm gonna even someone that I just, I don't know the person, mm -hmm. I'm just, exactly. I'm gonna give my hand, exactly. and then that's we're just it. gonna yeah. dance, and then that is like, it's, that's it. That's it. Nothing, yeah. out, I mean, out of control. Speak for yourself. <laughs> no, no, like, I mean, I'm talking about myself. I'm not talking about music is in your blood. I think. Yeah, I think so, but I don't know how to dance. Like when yeah. I dance, no? I cannot say that nothing is gonna happen. You know, I'm very awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you lying? Okay. Anyways. You don't know how uh, to you know, dance. I think. I, I think. My, I don't I, I, you. Depend of the alcohol, I dance better. I improve my, yeah. we my the movement. We're in the same position. We, like, depend of how many red horses. <laughs> yeah, give me some beer there, give me some tequila, and then when I start losing myself, <laughs> I probably will dance better than Chris Brown. <laughs> better than Bruno Mars. <laughs> better better wow. than Bruno Mars. <laughs> Beside me, Bruno Mars will like be a beginner. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, let me just, okay, so, since you, I mean, you guys have mentioned that you guys brought some friends here and stuff like that. And do you think, as a foreigner, you can live in the Philippines out of the, I mean, with the job that, I mean, currently you have, with bilingual job? In 2024, I'm not talking about 20, I mean, 16, but now, do you think with the salary that, I mean, bilinguals are getting, okay, uh, do you think it's possible to live in the Philippines? I mean, <clears throat> it is possible, but mm -hmm. it, uh, it's not, it's normal, it, right now it's not as, I mean, it's hard. It's harder right now. I think uh, I, we have had inflation in the past two years that we haven't had in the past six years when we moved here to the Philippines. So, I mean, yeah, a, a foreigner can live here with a, in a company uh, living in a uh, with a company salary from a bilingual. Yes, they can. Um, maybe I mean depending on your aspirations, right? Uh, that was also one of the things why we started doing some things on the side because mm -hmm. we had more aspirations and we wanted to earn more money. Uh, it's not that the money that we're earning is not enough, but it depends on, I think, it preferences. Yeah. You know, yeah. if you want to live uh, comfortable, but that's it, you can. But if you want more, of course, you have to do more. Mm. Since you're making the, I mean, comparing 2016 to 2024, mm -hmm. I think before, I didn't even think about a partial job, you know? Uh, before it was like enough with, with the company that hired me. Mm -hmm. But now it's like I have to think an extra, to think, to have an extra job. Yeah. Additional of, I mean, to continue with the life that I was having in 2016. Like traveling. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, as she said, uh, prices are, has increased a lot. 
maybe you also guys know no, the yeah, public I here. Agree, I agree. If you go to the supermarket, you can <laughs> you can cooperate the the, I remember. the receipt now and before. It's not the same. No, no, uh, yeah. But still, it's a opportunity so far. I hope as well. I mean, I want to stay here more for more years. Mm -hmm. I love Philippines. I always have. I always want the option to return to the Philippines wherever I go. I, it's yeah. your safe spot. I exactly. I yeah. feel. I feel good. I mean, of course, I miss my family, my friends. Well, that's why we. That last year we went to visit them. When was it? Uh, June. May 2023. Oh, I May see. 2023. Okay. Awesome. We were there cool. for three months. Wow. After yeah. seven years, seven wow. and a half years. You work remotely from there. Yeah. Nice. And how was it? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. Uh, well, I told Andres, I want to go and I want to party all everything I, <laughs> with everything I got. All the energy that I exactly. accumulated for these exactly. six years. <laughs> exactly. We were drinking. I think we were drinking like every day. We miss like our beer, our food. I gained like 10 pounds or more <laughs> <laughs> with everything that we ate but it was it was really really fun we went to colombia also oh, for I vacation yeah uh, we went to different cities we mm -hmm. went to caracas which is the capital other city um where you we were tourists there in your yeah. own country <laughs> yeah we were touristing as as we <laughs> it was amazing and of course seeing our family was also awesome yeah, right? absolutely right. Did you guys have a reverse culture shock? I'm Being in the Philippines for six years? Yes. Going back to your country, did you, ha did you have a reverse culture shock? I miss the rice. <laughs> 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 no, just kidding. Uh, no, actually, uh, uh, the, the people, uh, the people, as I mentioned before, uh, in our country, we are a little similar to Filipinos in mm -hmm. some aspects. Uh, but yeah, when we went there, uh, for example, I <laughs> I went to elevator. I was like a little quiet because now everybody went, can understand what I'm saying to yes. her. You know, in Spanish. <laughs> so it's like, oh, I cannot say any, yes. any bad word yes. here because it's not so no. much. Maybe here sometimes you are talking in Spanish or yeah, yeah, Portuguese. Yeah. No, one, no one, one will understand. Yeah, yeah. Maybe there yeah. will there will be someone, but. Maybe eighty percent. No, no one will be there mm -hmm. and catch your rewards. Yeah. But there, everybody, of course, yeah. is Venezuela. So, in some okay, aspects, cool. we were like taking care of what we were, were saying, mm -hmm. and even the jokes mm -hmm. as well. I, I miss. Um, I mean, some of the some of my friends mm -hmm. they were saying that hey, you 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 didn't change your accent in Spanish, in and Spanish. I say. Because I only speak Spanish, mm -hmm. Spanish with my girlfriend, uh, English. Mm -hmm. I, I cannot have any other accent. Mm -hmm. So that's what I can say of the, cool, the cross culture. Yeah, that the we have. Story, yeah. The, in, in, you mentioned before that uh, the competition now is higher than it was in 2016, and then Filipinos they are very good learners, and they they learn very fast. So. Do you do you feel this competition against Filipinos as well? Not against, but with Filipinos also speaking Spanish very well, or even we have people close to us that they speak Portuguese very well. Do you feel this competition from the Filipinos as well? Well, uh, is that good competition? Of healthy course, competition it's healthy because yeah, they they are, what I think they are seeing like opportunities as well. I mean, yes, they are having a lot of Brazilians, Venezuelans, Latinos here. Why not to learn Spanish? Sure. Even they say that they. A uh, hundred years ago, I think, yeah. years, mm -hmm. they used to speak Spanish. Spanish yeah, yeah, yeah. In some areas. Uh, in some universities and schools, they teach Spanish. So it's like when they sometimes meet, uh, uh, or, or, or we can have some friends that they say, this is my opportunity to speak Spanish. Mm -hmm. Even if, and I feel like, OK, do it, because it's your, uh, I mean, I know that we, Spanish, they can even have a better salary mm -hmm. or with the Portuguese or with other language. So I think it's a, comp a healthy competition that they are taking care of for their personal group. Yes, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. yeah, they earn That's more awesome. money. They can earn more money. And that is, uh, I mean, I don't, I'm not sure um, if everybody uh, will get the, the same money as a, as a Latina, but they can, they can, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's like... A, 
it's something that will push them to learn. And I have seen a lot, a lot of people in in our company that is Filipino and they work, per, they speak perfect Spanish. As much, exactly. Perfect Better than Spanish. me. They know some words like uh, perfect. <laughs> where do you where do you learn? That? No, I was watching Narcos in Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> something like that. I was watching serious TV movies. Yeah. And I say, oh, pff, that's no. surprising. Now yeah, we have to pay more attention in the elevator because they, they, <laughs> they, they, they yeah, don't understand that. Exactly. Yeah. That's my point. <laughs> okay, since you have mentioned about narcos and you told me that you, I mean, oh, don't your start about narcos. I love that. I love that. <laughs> We're gonna stay for a long time talking. See what? See what you, you did, right? It. So your province, uh, it's. I mean, it, I mean, it has. I mean, it makes a border with Colombia, yes. right? So as a kid, being raised, as, I mean, from us from outside, we kind of have an idea on how Colombia it is through the media. And since you guys have lived there, probably mm -hmm. you guys can tell us if that is true or not. Mm -hmm. But I mean, as a kid, how is it to be raised in this kind of world being, how, do, how I mean, how can I put it like, seen everything that had been going on to, I mean, I mean, I mean with Colombia and Venezuela. Is it dangerous there? Well, I believe right now Colombia is in a awesome in an awesome place. I we were there and all that those ideas about um narcos Narco, and mm -hmm. drugs and all of that that is way over in the past. Uh, and um I mean the, the it's not it's not dangerous. Uh, you don't see as drugs or drug dealers or anything like that on the streets. At least right now, maybe when I was a child, it was. It was. I don't mm -hmm. remember. Uh, but right now that we were there, and uh, and I was there also four years ago, they have improved so much. You know, even even Venezuela. But we're talking right now in Colombia mm -hmm. um, about Colombia. I don't see that right now. I think that is just an idea that people has. Yeah. You know, like Colombia is drugs. Is mm -hmm. um, this guy, the drug dealer, I, I forgot his name, eh, Pablo Escobar. Pablo, yeah. uh, so they only had this idea, and I believe also Colombians get very angry when they, when someone exactly. asks them, like exactly. Pablo Escobar, yeah. it's like, come on, my country has so and many beautiful so many, yeah, things, yeah, yeah. Exactly. and you're talking about this, uh, they get very angry. And we were in Medellín, which I wanna, is, I go there one day. oh my God, I wanna, no, I wanna move there. Yeah. Like, really? I wanna live there. Place. It's Beautiful. amazing. It's the we best there, city in the world. We stayed there for a week in Bogota, a week and a week in Medellin. Medellin it was amazing. Medellin, yeah. I think, I, I think, I mean, cartels in general, they are always there, everywhere in yeah. Latin America. Yeah. Of course, maybe with the, in Colombia they were famous because this guy, Capaldo. Yes, yes. But right now, they are, I know, I know for sure they are still there, but those countries, Venezuela, Latin America, Colombia, they have a lot of things new to offer to tourists, to, to the new people, to, to, to get the attention of the war in general. Mm -hmm. I mean, food, uh, uh, let's say the city in general. I mean, uh, we, have, we have a lot of national parks to visit as well. Exactly. So that's why, I mean, cartel is, we know they are still there, but yeah. They have more to offer right now. Music as well. I mean, they are always in top ten mm -hmm. of the list. Uh, and yes, Shakira. that's what I think. Shakira. Shakira. Mm -hmm. I remember when I went to when I went to Medellin, I hired this 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 uh, tourist guide, and he told me first thing when I got into his car, he said, uh, "You're not here because of narcos, are you? Because it happens in the '90s. So yeah. there is nothing like this before." I said, "Come on, I'm from the '90s, so I know what happened." Yes, I'm here for the for the places, but I know what happened. Don't worry, because yeah. people. He said that people. I asked him, "Why are you asking that?" He said, "I'm asking because people think that Pablo Escobar is still alive. <laughs> <laughs> they watch the they watch the show and they think that yeah. Pablo Escobar is still alive. He died in the nineties. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, there's a place. Uh, what's the name of the place that we went? Um, the neighborhood. Uh, you went to this place that they used to be like the most dangerous barangay in the world uh, when all the Pablo Escobar thing uh, happened in... Barrio, Barrio um, Escobar, Barrio Escobar. And, uh, no, but uh, what's the name right now? The, the, where the place that we it's went... It's like a favela, but now it's a tourist favela you can go and visit. Now, uh, 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 in Brazil or in Colombia? No, in Colombia, in Colombia. Comuna 13. Uh, yeah, it's called Comuna 13. 
Ah, eh, so una like, address. So right now is Is the one that I mean Pablo Escobar built? No. no. The no. one that he built called Barrio Escobar. It's yeah. a whole neighborhood. Yeah, so this Comuna 13 is like right now it's like the most tourist place in Medellin. It's awesome the government spent some a, a lot of money building like some um electric stairs because it's like a favela mm -hmm. it's like a favela right uh, like so, escalators uh -huh, like yeah. escalators wow. so the foreigners uh, the visitors can go up and there's so many like stores they sell like beer they sell food uh, and i we saw people from europe We saw people from Africa, mm -hmm. we saw people from Asia I'm visiting this kind of there. Stuff, yeah. Yeah. And the vibe there, right? They have like artists, they have like dancers, they have like um, art, everything, music, you know, music. Yeah. We were there and it was like the best day of my life. Yeah. <laughs> One of the best days of my the cathedral? life. Huh? Did you go inside the uh, like cathedral? No, no. I, I, where? I in Medellin or Bogota? No, in, it's not in Medellin. It's in Medellin, but outside of the city. Oh, La Catedral, La Catedral de Sal? Si. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah, of, of course. course. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. were there. Actually, we went with our mother, so yeah. every cathedral, every church we go no, there. No, 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 no. <laughs> La Catedral, <laughs> where Pablo Escobar was arrested. Ah, okay. No. I was uh, I was thinking about a church. church. No, 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 no. Okay, no, we we're talking about Catedral de Sal, which ah, is uh, no, no, no. in Bogotá. That's in Bogotá, and it's in very Bogotá. famous. Yes. But that place, no, we didn't visit. I mean, I think we have to go back and continue yeah, yeah, visiting. Continue. I want yeah. to go back definitely well. to Medellin. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I think for me, like when you go abroad, like especially as a tourist, because I remember um, I had a friend three weeks ago. He's from the states. When he came here, they were like, "Calvi, please, I don't." I don't want to see BGC. I want to see the real Philippines. Yeah. Do you get it? Like, take me there to the real, like, to local. I want to feel like local. And we just went on Manila. We went to Tondo. We did all that way. He was like, this is what I wanted to see. And I think for me, if I go abroad, I, w I would like to see that as well. Like, I want to go to Brazil. I want to see the favelas. I want to, I want to go to of course. Ciudad de Deus. You, you are more than welcome to come to Venezuela as well, y yeah. to our city. So oh. which place, like, imagine if I want to come to Venezuela with you, where is the first place that you're going to bring me to? Difficult. It's a difficult. Of course, I will mm -hmm. say my city, mm -hmm. San Cristobal, Tachira, mm -hmm. for me, is so beautiful, yeah. despite of all the problems that we have. Uh, I mean, uh, maybe later I will show you some pictures. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. When I was there, like, people was asking me, hey, where are you? Are you in Europe? Are you in... No, that's San Cristobal Tachira, my city. Yeah. It's perfect because we have mountains, we have uh, very good places to visit, mm -hmm. bars, food, and the people. I love really Latin love food, it. man. Uh, that's, for me, one of the best places. But of course, the capital, Caracas, we went there, we visit, and there, there are many places to visit as well. Mm -hmm. Now a lot of uh, bloggers are going there because before it was like, was like a taboo. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't know if go to Venezuela. Yeah, so yeah, 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 uh -huh. yeah. So the, it is, but not like before. You know, I mean, you can still go, try to visit, of course, try to go with a Venezuelan that knows how to move how around. To move yeah. around. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe if you don't speak Spanish, it's gonna be a little difficult because in Venezuela not everybody speaks Spanish, mm -hmm. uh, English. I'm English, sorry. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, people. I'm just gonna be throwing my Portuguese. Yeah. Yo, <laughs> papito, oh. eu vou aqui. <laughs> We call it Portuñol. Portuñol? <laughs> I don't even know how to speak Portuñol. Yeah. Honestly. <laughs> yeah. Ah, we also understand a little Portuguese because we, I mean, yeah. a lot yeah. of similarities. Uh, yeah. No. Words. And, and also the good thing about Venezuela is that you have everything in the same place. You have mountains, you have coal, you have beach, uh, you have, um, I don't remember how to say this in English, but... You uh, can say in Spanish, I'll translate it. it, it <laughs> Uh, como desierto, desert, llano. Desert. Uh, llano. llano, we have llano. You know what's llano? Where? Yeah. Llano. Desert, yeah. Llano. Yeah. 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 Amazon. Desert. Amazon. Uh, Amazon. Yeah. Amazon. Yeah. So uh, actually, actually, I don't know if you are familiar with the Angel Falls. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Angel yeah. Falls. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, very close to mm. Brazil as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Angel Falls is one of the wonders, they, they not of the world. Yeah, of course, and they that's the highest waterfall in the world. Yeah. So every scientist, hikers, everybody go there to explore because it's so beautiful. You can also <laughs> uh, have a like a plant and go there. There is mm -hmm. some people that are selling the package on how to get there, mm -hmm. and it's a paradise. Venezuela is 
incredible yeah. for that kind of things. Yeah. It's an incredible culture. It's definitely, on, it's definitely on my back list. And I <laughs> hope you guys are learning a lot. So <laughs> you kind of change your ideas about Venezuela and Colombia already. And I hope you guys can go there. What about here in the Philippines? How often do you guys get to travel around? And well, what's your favorite place? At the beginning, when we moved here, we used to travel a lot, like every two months, you know? Every two months, we went to Taiwan, to Singapore, to uh, Bali, um, to China. That was out of the country, but inside, in, uh, in no, Philippines. Ah, OK, no, 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 outside, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, inside, all yeah. right. We have also, we, went, we have went to Boracay like 10 times. We love Boracay. <laughs> we love it. We have spent New Year's there. We have been to uh, Coron. Coron, el Niño. Siargao. Siargao. We love Puerto Chiargao. Galera. Puerto Galera. Actually, yeah. uh, since you mentioned your friend from US, yeah. he wanted to go to places here in, the, yeah. here in this area. I, I was telling her that I want this year to start traveling to those places that you can go by car yeah. instead of plane. Because yeah, yeah. those two yeah. very famous places, yeah. like she said, Boraca, El mm -hmm. Nido, yeah, Porón. You gotta take a plane. Uh, we already know those places. But I know there are so beautiful places mm -hmm. that I haven't been able to go, maybe for time or mm -hmm. budget. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. But now I, I, just, I really want to start. Maybe you by can car, suggest yeah. me some of those places that you have been there. Yeah, I mean, by car. I mean, I, I went, we went, uh, we used to go to uh, Zambales? No, here uh, in, La in the volcano. Baguio? Oh, oh, uh, Tal Volcano in Tagaytay. Tagaytay. Oh, Tagaytay. 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 It was a very, yeah. and it's cold, the cold, food is, yeah. I don't know why, but if it's only for me, but the food there is amazing. Yeah. yeah. It's good. It's good. We want to go to Baguio. To, uh, Baguio. You haven't been to Baguio? We Baguio? haven't. No, Try to go by motorcycle because I used to do. I used to I mean, there are two. Go biking, bike, motorcycle. Oh, I went to Baguio, Tagaytay. I love it. And there are nice beaches also. You can go to Big. Um, yeah, so Big. Bataan. Bataan. Bata 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 oh, I saw Bata pictures about Bataan. Bata yes. It looks yeah. really, it's really awesome. good. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. Bataan is the bad. Bataan is too, like, Bata especially yeah, Bataan yeah. is like, if you guys like, I mean, want to go by car, I think I would take the same road that you say. Mm. Go to Bulacan, Subi, exactly. go that road there, go to Baguio, go to Vegan. Vegan, mm -hmm. I think it's one of think. Guys, please correct me. It's one of those, I mean, um, I think they kind of have a um, culture which is also related to Spanish too. Please, le like they have all these historical street, you can ride the horse. Oh, can really? I, yeah, yeah, can yeah. I eat meat there? Huh? <laughs> Yeah, you can actually. I downloaded. I like. I downloaded a a, a a picture of. I mean, that because, was a joke. What do you mean, a horse? Vegan. Ah, sorry, I didn't get the joke. I'm, I'm dead. So, so this is the place. Oh no! Oh my God! Ah, it's nice. It looks nice. It looks nice. Ah, that's you. Yes, yeah, you're yeah, yeah. riding wow. the car. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> So it's like um, how far is it? Oh, from here, from Manila. I think it's like depends nine. of the traffic. <laughs> yeah, it depends on yeah. the traffic, but I think it's good if you live like at night. So it's like um, ten to maybe nine to ten hours. Okay. Nine to ten hours driving. Yeah, yeah. because exactly Ooh. like like Andre said, we have always uh, went to beaches where we can mm -hmm. go in plane, but yeah. we have not done that road, road, road trip, yeah. trip. So, so we have yeah. to do that. So so that it, you won't feel like it's too far. So what you can do is drive until some, some city, stay there for overnight, two mm. days, enjoy enjoy the view as well. So City hopping. Yeah, city hopping. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. After that, you go to another one until you're going to get it to your destination, which is, I mean, vegan. Vegan, it's beautiful. Vegan, they also, vegan, vegan they, I think they call it vegan mm -hmm. soul. It's super beautiful. And then from vegan, you can go already to, to Baguio. Mm -hmm. And then from Baguio, go to Sagada. Okay. okay. I, I don't know if you guys have heard about yeah. Sagada. I, I hear, but I yeah. Heard I mean, it's like in the list. It, yeah, so, yeah. All, so all that, if you take like a week just to enjoy that, it's going to be amazing, super duper amazing. So We're going to do that. Yeah, and because I think, car. as you said, like traveling by car, I think it's a different experience. Yeah. It's a different Imagine experience. by motorcycle then. Yeah. I haven't tried by motor. I mean, I went to I went to Bulacan only by motorcycle. I know how you feel. I feel you. I mean, the, really? the only problem is that it's, it's raining. If, <laughs> if it's, there is a typhoon outside, but yeah. the rest, it's like 
freedom. You can when stop went, whatever you right. want. You can, ah, you want to eat here? Okay, let's stop yes. and have yeah, our food. Yeah, yeah. Sinigal, I'm whatever. Here. When I went to Baguio, there was a torrent rain coming down. So I ah, have okay. to go. I, 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 I know you keep going. You keep going? It, of course. It's I not go. safe. Come, come on, on, I'm not made a shooter. <laughs> no, no, no. Come it's on, not safe. just go ahead. Guys, don't follow his advice. <laughs> <laughs> you feel the rain. Feel the exactly. Rain. Feel the rain. Well, depend of the how difficult is the, the the weather in that moment. But yeah, I like yeah, to drive, drive as well. But it will be fun. Like yes. because if you go to this place as an example by bus, man, you're gonna be tired. Yeah. You're gonna be super. super exactly the bus you did. We did there. Which bus? The bus. The, the, the slip bus. Yes. I mean the slip bus. The go. Yeah. I mean I, I I don't know if they have to vegan. So there's this new slip bus. You can just sleep, like even you, like as I mean, since we talk, you can just sleep the whole sleep. You can see it's a bed. It's, it's a, a bed. It's a bed. Sleep bus. So uh, they call it. Uh, they call they call it luxury sleep bus. I think it's the most luxury sleep bus in the Philippines right now. Wow. Yeah. So you guys should take I it. Never heard about he it. He was yeah. invited for the opening. Yeah, oh, I was wow. invited. Nice. So yeah. Nice. So we are taking ta taking notes taking of notes. Yeah, take it. <laughs> Especially <laughs> if you wanna go. To, yeah, to Baguio. They have it, I think B call as well. Uh, uh, Baguio is, is catching my attention because I know it's cold. Yeah, it's cold. Like yeah. my city like in Venezuela, city, yeah. they mm -hmm. have like a uh, strawberry mm -hmm. school. Yeah, 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 yeah. They yeah. produce it. Yeah, yeah, strawberry farm. In our city as well, we have there are some places that we have as well that kind of uh, environment. Environment. So So you're gonna like it. I Especially will Sagada. Love it. Sagada. Go. Sagada is like because Baguio's here, Sagada is mm. Behind, like it's behind. After. behind. So, which means it's cold at the super. I mean, mountain and a lot. So we, ha have, we have to bring jacket. Oh. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. That's for sure. You will be driving the road. You will be seeing all the um, cold. How do you call it? Um, I forgot the name in English right now. Even in Portuguese, vapor. Uh, vapor do clear. Oh, fog. Neblina. Fog. Neblina. The fog. The fog. Neblina. Yeah. Neblina. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you will see all the all the fog. That it's it's nice. totally. Different experience. I'm sold. But, yeah. but what sold. I like the most about in Baguio is the people. Mm -hmm. They are e there are even more Filipino there. There are really? there are even more. I don't know if because it's a tourist spot, mm -hmm. but I felt so welcome there. Oh. I, mean, I mean, to the highest level. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> they they give you priority to everything. I was in McDonald's, and there's a line there. They want me to go in front of everybody. Oh. They want me to pass in front. Oh, come, come, come. So no, no, no need. So <laughs> there, it's exponentially higher the level of receptivity. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, I, I mean, a crazy story I can just, like, share is I went to Baguio only for five hours. <laughs> so what happened is I went to Vegan. I mean, they said that I, mean, that I just showed you. Okay. So Vegan is closer to Baguio. So not really closer, but, like, two hours to three hours by bus. So I was in vegan for a week, and I was like, I, have, I, wa I, I was in Baguio before, and I was like, why not go to Baguio just to spend these five hours, and then I'm just gonna get the bus there and go straight to Manila. I went there only for five hours. I didn't have a place to stay because I didn't want to book, because I just, want, I just wanted to walk on the street, get some food, and then get back in the bus and come back to Manila. And I did that by bus, so if you guys can, by bus. By bus. Nice. <laughs> Unplanned so, at all. Cheaper nice, than nice. all way the cheaper. options. <laughs> way cheaper. Way cheaper. Way cheaper. Like, I That's what I want, actually. No. And try the, I mean, probably there will be good restaurants, but I want to go to those places that are proper food. Yes. And the, you know, I love it. I love, we yeah. love also to go and visit places and try the food. Their proper food. Yeah. Drink some Whatever red horses. Yeah. Have you guys been to Cebu? Of course. Cebu. Yes. Cebu. Yeah, yeah, we went there for the waterfalls and everything. Yeah, did you guys? By the way, content in Cebu. Huh? Oh yeah, yeah. By the way, I'm, I'm I'm going to Cebu on Thursday. You but didn't uh, invite me. Oh, I nice. mean, uh, for the festival, they have a synologue festival. In the because there's the like city. an upper part. No, I'm, we're going to Cebu City. Ah, okay. Cebu, Cebu City. city. So. Is Oslo one of the places? I think yeah, we went we, to Oslo. We I think. went because you know it, it, Cebu is like like this, mm -hmm. so you can go to the upper oh, part yeah, or yeah, the yeah, lower yeah. part. Yeah. I think we went to the lower part. You guys, you guys seem to like the nightlife. <laughs> How is the nightlife in the Philippines? It's nice. Go, no, wait. Let me ask you again, nicely. Okay. Nice. Okay. Nice. Okay. <laughs> How is the nightlife of 2016 
comparing to 24. Yeah, exactly. 24. I mean, it has changed. In yes. what ways? Um, well, one of the things that you said that right now there's more Latin mm -hmm. parties, that's nice, right? Um, but I don't know. I personally used to enjoy it be, uh, more before. I don't know if because, of course, I'm older right now. When I get to the Philippines, I was 23 years old. So I, I used to go out a lot. Uh, right now, I don't that much. Um, but, I mean, it's different. I, I think the, the option, the, having the Latin option, of course, it helps for us. Uh, because, as I mentioned, I miss my culture. But, I mean, I love it. I love it, especially in, I, I don't know if I should say this, but. The name of the place, feel free. No, Where? no, uh, I mean, not the name of the place, but I really like the, the, um, the parties where there's like, I don't know if I should say this, but. Feel free, <laughs> feel free, feel free, be open. <laughs> okay, like, where there's like this black culture, oh, yeah, you know? Yeah, black culture. You know, yeah, like, yeah. like uh, because Afro, I don't know Afro, what Afro, Afro beat, culture, Afro house, Afro beat, Afro house yeah. I don't know why, and, and Andres can support me, I love Afro beat, that culture, the dance, you know? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. love it, and I love uh, African people, mm -hmm. and from where you are, mm -hmm. I know, it's like a vibe, it's like a vibe. Much. Actually, it's nice it's that like you vibe. mentioned that we had here a continental crew, they they kind of they, yeah, they, yeah, they brought one the one Afro, Afro beats to the Philippines. In the Philippines yeah. That's probably why you have contact with them now. Yeah. By the way, the you can watch the podcast. Oh yeah, please from, go from check the them podcast. out. We did a podcast with Continental Crew. And shout out to Say them. How to watch our brothers. Yeah. Continental so, yeah. Crew. Yeah. So it's like it's like a vibe, you know, mm -hmm. like a vibe. No, I, Afri love that I mean, vibe. African party is just different. You know, it, it, yeah. you remember it hits different. Yeah, yeah. It hits actually, different. and as you said, maybe when we moved here, we were a little kids. Let's say so. Every weekend we want to go mm -hmm. out. Before 2016, I was like, for us, for was like, oh my God, these kind of places, BGC. I remember there was a place like. Uh, before Silo, I think there was another uh, uh, pool palace. Oh yeah, pool palace. Uh, yeah. Pool For palace. me, it was like, oh my God, there is a swimming pool inside of this. <laughs> and, you can yeah. swim. and you can have a, I mean, a good DJ and enjoy, it, you know. Uh, right now, it's like also we are preferring like other things to do in at night, like <laughs> resting or staying at home. But there are more options. I that, still go that out with aging. my friends. Yeah, <laughs> that costs aging. Ages. But can you say that when you got, first got here, uh, you said that you have financial stability, you have yes. things that you don't have there. Did you get overwhelmed? I mean, to the point that uh, it can stray you from your focus or something like that? Because uh, it kind of happened to me. When you get here, you get everything on your hand. And, and for foreigners, we have uh, harassment of, of girls. Of, we cannot deny it. It's easy for you to get overwhelmed and stray from your from your goal. Did something like that happen to you? And especially that you guys are couple. <laughs> well, yeah. I, I, if you want, I can I can share the story, but it actually did. Go ahead, go ahead. I, I, everybody I, knows that. Yeah, everybody knows it. So, of course, it happened, uh, especially for Andres, because when I was in Venezuela, I used to go out a lot. He's handsome. He's handsome, yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, he no, looks no. more like a of model. Course. <laughs> no, and, and also because he, in Venezuela, he did not used to go out. He, uh, but I did. I went out since I was like 14 years old. So when I got here, I, I went out, but I already went out a lot. So I was not in that fever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But for him, it was like a fever. It's new. Yeah, it's Something like new. new. I have money. I can go out every day <laughs> if I want to, right? Yes. So we got to a rough place because he was going out so much and I wasn't that much. Never so moved, yeah. and we actually had a break. Like oh. we broke she was up so like, jealous as well. Yeah, you have like, to say it. No, I mean I was not jealous, but of course we were not on the same page. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, so we broke up like six months, right? Like we had a break. And I used to say seven. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, we broke up because I mean, as I say, I was a kid. Uh, I really wanted to go out every every weekend with friends. I meet people. I go if you go to a bar, we we see Africans, Europeans, yeah. Latinos. It was like yeah. oh, this is the paradise. 
for me. <laughs> but that, that really affects me in other ways. Yeah. So, but the good thing is like I enjoy both worlds here. Yeah. I mean, we were here single, we mm -hmm. were here married. Well, we're not still married, but we are in a relationship. By the way, right I have a, pick, a bone to pick with you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So, no, well, we, we enjoy that part of nightlife in the Philippines a lot. Uh, like really, because I, I also learned that, and it's an, it was good because it's an advice that now I can give to my new friends, yes. the ones that I'm giving yeah. here. That's and I point. think better, right? Yeah. I mean, I now think who to help if I want to help someone yeah. from Venezuela. I, I want someone that really take the opportunities, not do the bad things yeah. or, or not get a good control of what they are doing here mm -hmm. in the Philippines. Learn because, of course, as you have opportunities, you have a lot of temptation outside. That's yeah. not that light. I mean, everybody knows that. Yeah. So now, since I was in both worlds, I can maybe share experience with some with our friends that they are here. Do this, don't do this, mm -hmm. <laughs> don't get too much of this, yeah, yeah. whatever. Uh, we, and it's, we, a, we actually went it's out an experience. With, we went out with other people, actually, right? Exactly. In that in that time, like I, he went out with someone, I went out with someone. I mean, it was nice, but I feel that after those six months, we kind of like realized that okay, nah. that was yeah. just a phase, yeah. and we really love each other. And after that, it was like the best moment of wow. our of our relationship. You got stronger, like right? right? Now. The relationship. We are stronger, stronger right mm -hmm. now. So yes. you, so uh, just I mean to say that six months made you guys like realize. Right. what you guys really wanted in life exactly. and especially for i mean for you i mean as you said you came from not partying a lot coming here different couches seeing different things i won't lie that happened to me as well I came, <laughs> <laughs> no i won't lie i won't lie like i came here I went, like how old was i i think i was like 20 i'm okay i'm t I'm, I'm gonna say my age <laughs> <laughs> so i came here when i was like 22 yeah, yeah, I came here when I was 22. Mm -hmm. So, super young. Uh -huh. I was living alone, like, living alone, having my own apartment, and different people, mm -hmm. different culture. Mm -hmm. There's no one, like, to take, I mean, to look after me, and... I want to judge. You know what I to totally, judge. I totally, I mean, I totally understand, but I think, as well, you get to a position, and like, oh, no. yeah. it's enough. Yeah. Like, it's enough. It's enough, it's enough. Yeah. Now, because I think it was good, actually it was good that you realized that at very early. Yes, six months is really six fast. Six months really fast. You like, can lose yourself for long years. For long, for long, for long, for long. There are people that are like, they're dead, you know. You get it? And just because like you, you, like, uh, you mentioned sometimes you will be speaking Spanish and English. So which language do you guys like speak at home? No, oh, Spanish. 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 And when you guys are mad to each other, which language do you guys speak? No, no, it's Spanish. Always Spanish. Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Always Spanish. Yeah, yeah Spanish, no, Spanish. No. Always Spanish. And if we have visitors, of course, yeah. Yeah, we, we switch. English. Uh, we switch. To English. Mm -hmm. uh, and with our yeah, friends, Spanish. Spanish. With our friends. No. Yeah. As I mentioned, we have a lot of friends in our building. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and yeah. Now you have two more. Two more. Please yeah. invite me to your place. Please. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I want to meet your other friends as well. We will. We yeah, will. Please. So you guys are based here. You guys are planning to build your family here in the Philippines. And business. And business. Yeah. We're gonna get. I mean, we're gonna go there. Well, uh, yeah. Um, I think we are. We are doing really good here, and we have a lot of plans of growing our business here. Uh, we have had our business for two years, but we have been honestly on and off. Um, because we went to our country, we were not here, we stopped for some time. Uh, we had our business with my sister and her husband, but my sister moved back to Venezuela. Uh, she's actually moving. Um, we actually brought uh, some, some, some of our products. Yeah, 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 we yeah. brought it. Where's the product, by the way? <laughs> Is there, it's it's a there. cake. Is that okay. That's yeah. a, get it? one of our best. So tell, tell us about your business. Yeah. I mean, okay. okay, tell us about your business and what inspired you to do a business okay. business in a foreign country. All oh, right. It looks beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, guys, but you can get on the description below. By the way, <laughs> I, I stumped upon their ads in Facebook. Mm -hmm. I said, Pan de Hamon. And I saw her name. I said, no, no, no. It's authentic. 
exotic <laughs> because we had pound de jamon in our in our party before. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I said, okay, I'm gonna order. When I order, man, <laughs> super delicious. I said I, I bought two. I mean, it looks. I said, why didn't I buy more? I love Believe me, all Venezuelans will yeah. feel happy since you mentioned the pan de jamón because this is very authentic. I know, oh, yeah. I know. Actually, <laughs> when we had this party at, at at work, our boss and one of our colleagues there, Venezuelan. So we, they brought the pan de jamón. This is when I fall in love because mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it has everything I love and and I love raisins. So mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> I see that people do All even the, raisins. Yes, the the, the uh -huh. combination is awesome. So guys, awesome. we're gonna post. Yeah. We're gonna post everything is gonna be on the description. The below. description. So I um, highly advise yeah. you guys. How did you guys start? Okay. I mean, yeah, what inspired you guys to? I mean, to open a business in a foreign All country. Right. Um, so basically, it started with two factors. The first one was a, I was in a not really good place, like honestly, mentally, like mm -hmm. after the pandemic. Pandemics. It kind of hurt me a lot. Thank you so much, brother. Thank being, you, man. Thank you. I love um, you. I love you, too. <laughs> being like locked down, you know, it, it was really hard for me. So I was looking for to do something that made me happy. So I was like, I'm going to start baking. I have baked my whole life. So I started baking, baking desserts different cakes and I was doing like trials and I was giving my friends mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. until I get to a point that I was like, okay, I'm doing something that I, I can sell because it was honestly really good. Um, I, I spoke to my sister and she told me like, you know what? Um, and the other factor was that we love our Venezuelan food and mm -hmm. we miss it. And we have always talked about come on, we really hope that there's a place, place that where they sell Venezuelan yeah. food and there's none. And we were kind of like, like, okay, then maybe we can do it ourselves. So we kind of combined those two things. Uh, near where we live, there's a park, which is called Greenfield Park. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, you, you guys live in Mandalayan? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We live in Mandalayan. I used to live there. Yeah. I used to live in... We are neighbors. You, yeah, I used to live <laughs> in SM Light. Ah, okay. Ah, know, yeah, we live in a, in a building called Sheridan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pioneer yeah. Street. Yeah, 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 yeah Pioneer yeah. Street. Yeah. So we were, and then we always saw that they had like a food market on the weekends. And we were like, okay, I think we can go there. Let, mm -hmm. Let's do it. So my sister and I, we went and spoke to them. They had to do like, a, they requested us to do like a presentation, mm -hmm. like what are the, the food that we're going to sell. Mm -hmm. Uh, some examples so we were like okay what we really want to do we want to just do cakes we want to do just venezuelan food so we were like okay what are we selling right no. uh so we chose uh, for salty we chose arepas arepas is like uh -huh. our our it's like the yep. food that you eat in venezuela any time of the day. It's just like here in the Philippines eating rice. Correct. Okay, it's yeah. like breakfast, lunch, dinner, like any time mm -hmm. you can eat it. You and can it, it's very well known around Latin America. Around Wherever world, you go, yeah. as there are a lot of immigrants going mm -hmm. around every part of the world. So there are arepas right now. Uh, uh, but arepas. there was a place missing arepas, which was Philippines yes. <laughs> for us. Yes. And of course, like, uh, Colombians knows as well very well the arepas, the Panama mm -hmm. uh, Panameños, <laughs> they know as well the arepas. So we know that the there were a lot of Latinos, but they were lacking of Philip uh, I mean, uh, Venezuelan like food. Latin Latin food. Latin and food. actually, for even for some uh, <laughs> uh, Filipinos, they say ah Latin food. They relate Latin food with tacos, burritos. <laughs> Mexico. And, yeah. I mean, I remember. I won't say the name of the place. <laughs> Tenez, he knows. We ate there recently. Uh, it's, um, I mean, they said it's a Latin, I, I won't say which country, mm -hmm. otherwise people are gonna get it already. <laughs> and then Tenez are like, nah, this is not Latin food, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's what that's what we were saying. It's like, yeah. I mean, tacos burritos, that probably mm -hmm. uh, Latin food, but it there is. are more. And yes, very delicious as well. Yeah. From Brazil, from Venezuela, yeah. from Colombia. So we say, okay, as she said, Let's bring our culture. Let's put our flavors on yeah. on the table. Yeah. And let's see. I mean, of, of, we wanted to focus only on the Latinos, mm -hmm. but the good and surprise for us was like Filipinos start loving our food as well. They are open. They, they eat, are. They really are open love. on that. They yeah. love really foreign love. food. So mm -hmm. if you go, I mean, 
those guys that were to visit us in Greenfield when we were working there, the line of Filipinos waiting for our food, for our case, was amazing. Yeah. As well, are you guys still doing it until now? No, uh, right she now, <laughs> yeah. So we were there for like eight months, I believe, and we were doing great. Like it, we we took like three salty foods, which was arepa, cachapa, which oh, cachapa, cachapa, by the way. P Filipinos go crazy about cachapa. Mm -hmm. Cachapa, just it. let me introduce you with, yeah, I really with the cachapa. Yes. Cachapa is like a pancake, but instead of flour, we use sweet corn. Oh, so yeah. on top of it, you can put cheese, you can put pork, beef, only cheese, and it's mm -hmm. totally different than whatever you have tried <laughs> before. Actually, that's one of my favorites, to be honest. I like arepas as well, but on top of my mouth for cachapa. me, it's a oh, cachapa. My mouth is watering, man. Oh, it's, it's awesome. Man. Can I? Well, this is this. Yeah, yeah, sure, of course. Sure, so ahead. I'm gonna explain what this yeah, is. Please. This is our our best seller dessert. This is a pumpkin cake. We okay. call it in our city auyama, oh, yeah. and or it's like yama. and it's like a flan. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And by the way, this is what the Filipinos most like. Like. Okay. Well, not just Filipinos. I think everyone. That's, that's the best seller. That's uh, our best seller. For Venezuela. You can get for, it maybe with you, this. You don't. You have no idea this smell. How good it smells. <laughs> Look, guys. <laughs> Smells can you see? Oh, awesome. You, you can maybe get it and. Let me, yeah. uh, let me just show to the camera. <laughs> we, really? we brought it by pieces. We yeah. can, you can, guys, that, that order whenever you want. Yeah, please. This. We will, for sure. <laughs> uh, Try it. Give me the yeah. butter. You can give this to My brother. <laughs> I brought this because it's a little bit easier. With coffee. Oh, yeah. Much. So I want I want you to try it and give me your most honest Let's feedback. Go. Yeah, be honest, be honest. No, no, if you no, don't sure. like it, be honest no, 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 because sure. we are here to yeah. receive. I know I like because I I I had this before. Okay. Oh, you have had it before? Really? Okay. Really? Ah, yeah. He has I mean, a lot it, of Latino. It's different, friends. right? It is. I can see why the Filipinos like it. It's like it's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely like that you're fine almost, yeah. I, it's pumpkin. pumpkin. It's like a pumpkin flan. It's better. It's best eaten uh, cold. We put it in the refrigerator. Right now, it's not that cold because it has been here for a while. But but when it's cold, it's like perfect for me. But like people like it so much that they from one to ten. How yeah, how you rate ten. it? <laughs> Enjoyed give, it. Give us your honest honest I'm review. I'm not lying. <laughs> not because I'm hungry. I loved it. Okay. I swear. One to Thank ten. You. Twenty. No. Now I'm thinking <laughs> drinking, I mean, eating this with coffee. Yeah. Coffee, perfect match. Actually, as I mentioned, we mentioned before, we went to uh, visit our country and we say that we are selling this product here. Mm -hmm. And when we said, because this is very famous in our city, mm -hmm. but here is like, wow, pumpkin cake. And we were saying that that was our best and people didn't, I mean, they won't believe it, you know? Yeah, because there they sell it like anywhere. Anywhere and anywhere. You can find it anywhere, but here, mm -hmm. for us, I mean, you we have weekly, we, weekly orders of this. Yeah, we have. And, uh, and by the way, just while we eating, where can they find you guys? So we are in Instagram. Our Instagram mm -hmm. is uh, Tepui Dash Latin Bakery. Um, yeah. So right now we are just working online. We are getting orders for full cakes. Uh, we sell this in full, and also we get, we sell like pan de jamón, we sell like uh, cachitos, which is similar to pan de jamón, but without the raisins and the mm -hmm. olives, and it's like a, in a small version. Um, what else are we selling? Well, uh, well we are selling different cakes. Ide uh, ideally, it's to move, start moving to a physical store again. Yeah. Uh, as she was saying, we stop a little bit in Greenfield, for the moment, because I mean the volume, yeah. we were cooking in our unit. You know, it's a small unit, so the volume of products, arepas, cachapas, cakes, yeah. it was a lot. It was a lot, so which is good because the the project itself grew a lot. Mm -hmm. We were able to develop the idea, and and yeah. but I mean, the unit is still too small. So this year we are planning to. To see if it's possible, I mean, looking for opportunities to develop again the pui in a physical store, mm -hmm. just for everybody to go and enjoy and have a, a good piece of cake or 
arepa, cachapa, since it's something that we know eh, Filipinos and Latinos enjoy. Yeah. So in my city, when you like the food, you curse. So la puta que me parió. <laughs> it's really good. And I wouldn't even think, I would, and I wouldn't even think it's pumpkin, pumpkins. Right? I would ah. never imagine. <laughs> never, yeah. never. If you didn't tell me, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even know. <laughs> what I love about it is not too sweet. Yeah, it's exactly. That's what I It's not too sweet. Yeah, it's not too sweet. Yeah, it's different. We we'll do the food vlog, so. Uh, actually, uh, when we were developing the idea, uh, we said, I mean, it's going to be difficult to, to, to develop with, I mean, to grow with cakes since if you go out, there are a lot of yeah. bakeries, mm -hmm. there are, a, I mean, it's terrible. But, but this one, it hits different, bro. It hits different. It's yeah, in the bro. Philippines, there's a really good level of, of desserts. Even for like, mm -hmm. Everywhere, desserts. It's, they're amazing. So we had to come up with something that it was different, right? We couldn't sell like a regular cake that you can find. You, can, you guys can look at uh, You know? Look at <laughs> <laughs> Look here, guys. Where is it? It's, it's gone. Good. Mine is almost done as well. Yeah, it's already. Yeah. So, no, All of that so, for you. So we, yeah. we you can share with your family as well. Like, mm. no, 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 no. No, I'm going to take this home. I'm sure you this won't leave the, it, it won't leave the studio. <laughs> no. I'm glad you like it. We're Love glad it. you like oh, it. My God. My God. Friend. I'm going to order when the podcast is done. And, okay, so you guys are on Instagram, right? Yeah, yeah. so we're on Instagram and we are on Facebook too. Um, we get orders from there right now. As Andres mentioned, um, we are developing the idea of a physical, phil uh, physical, physical store. Yeah, physical. Mm -hmm. um, and because also it was too much volume. Like, and of course we have also our job, right? Mm. So we didn't have the time to kind of the orders were already too much, and we were like, ugh, like a little bit of mm -hmm. overwhelm. Mm -hmm. So we end. As I mentioned, I, we went to Venezuela, we came back, so right now we want to go full, but we want to do it better, you know? Uh, yeah. Well, can't so can I give you guys, you a, I mean, can I give you guys, I don't know if I should give you this idea yeah, of cameras, ahead. or maybe it's a bit of cameras, maybe someone can take that idea, so. Okay, 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 okay. okay. that idea of cameras. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, which means, so, you guys are like, want to do physical, and I mean, yo, your behavior. <laughs> <laughs> So, and how, I mean, have you guys tried to open like uh, a business already or in how is, and how is the process? No, we, we are in the middle of investigations. We're mm -hmm. looking for places, we are getting like our budget. Uh, of course, we need to get employees. So that is, we're doing that. Uh, the investigation process, the project mm -hmm. uh, draft and yeah, but in the meantime, we are still selling our, our desserts, but it's just like pre-order right now mm -hmm. uh, and it's mostly cakes and not not much of the salty ones because the salty is a little bit more difficult to kind of do it in bulk mm -hmm. but uh, in the meanwhile we're doing our desserts and guys I, i'm a i'm a customer and i gotta tell you you have to order if, uh, it's good gonna, guys it's good <laughs> it's, it's good. really good it's just good and how much is this box so okay so this one it's mm -hmm. we brought a few pieces but mm -hmm. it's actually bigger than this mm -hmm. one and it's 1300 one thousand two hundred for the whole cake. Yeah. For the whole cake. cake. Yeah. And th this is so. not the whole cake. This is it's a little bit more. Guys, than this. if you wanna eat authentic, <laughs> Venezuela. Venezuela. Uh, how do you call it? Venezuela. Venezuela. <laughs> Venezuela. <laughs> okay, Venezuela. <laughs> Everything is in the in the description below. Cause I love this one. I, I wanna try. Yeah. I mean, that the food that you guys just mentioned. Maybe in the second part of the podcast that we will have, yes. I'll bring we'll the salty bring food. <laughs> if you got, when you guys open. hopefully let's pray that you guys let's open pray. the physical store. Yes. Come yeah. Please come here or even invite us on the grand open. Oh, yes. Right? Oh, yes. We go there. We're gonna make a video about everything Thank about you. the whole thing. Nice, nice. Please invite us because I read this one, as we the Filipino would say, <laughs> grab me masara. <laughs> masara. <laughs> it's masara. Yeah. Oh, girl. No, we're glad you like it. Yeah, it's it's really good, guys. So please check them out. Everything is gonna be on the description below. You can order a box. Try with your family. Do you get it? And I know that you guys love food, and especially this is not just any type of food that you're gonna find outside. We're talking about authentic Venezuelan, no Venezuelan 
food. You know, I'm not Valenzuela. <laughs> not Valenzuela. Venezuela. 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 Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let me ask you guys this. What do you guys love the most about the Philippines? What we love the most? Yeah, about the country. Well, I love the people. Mm -hmm. I love the people. People is, oh my God, they are so nice. Um, also, I love that the, the country is really safe. You know, mm -hmm. it's really safe. Like, I feel comfortable going out, uh, you know, at three in the morning with my cell phone, walking on the streets, and I know nothing is going to happen. You know, uh, that gives me like that sense of um, safety that I think we lost in Venezuela before we moved here. So it's like, Comfort, uh, yeah. I mean, the food is great, uh, yeah. but w w my favorite Filipino food is kare kare. Oh, oh yeah, by yeah. far. Yeah. I love, That's I cool. love. Oh, if kare you love kare kare, you have to go to Venezuela. Venezuela. <laughs> Venezuela. There's one place there in Venezuela. I just kind of forgot the name right now. I think they call him King of Kare Kare. Uh huh. You're gonna laugh. For me, that's the best place I had kare kare okay. in Venezuela, not in Venezuela. Please okay. go and try. How the food you don't like? I don't. Yeah. Um, I um, I don't like um, the because there are some things that they do like sweet, mm -mm. like example the pasta that they do like with the, the, the mm -hmm. sauce is so sweet, sausage, you know, yeah, like, sausage, because yeah. it's very different from mm -hmm. us. Like for us, the, the pasta, pasta is, is it's salty. Really the jamon. So you don't like it, but I like it. You like it. <laughs> uh -huh. Even the jamon. I mean, and it's not that it's bad. It's just that it's, it's different, different from, from what I'm used taste, to. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. used, I mean, yeah. I can eat it, but it's maybe the thing that I, li I Actually, like, I like them it. less. For, for, for me, you love it? Yeah. Okay. For me, it was very, was complicated when someone offered me balut. Okay. Oh yeah. Did you, well, did you try it? Yeah, I definitely. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. I, I, I did it. I did it, and I mean, we did it. I did it with some friends that were like so friendly, trying, <laughs> trying to teach me what's the what's the balut, mm -hmm. how how they eat it, because there is a way of opening, and you have to try the some soup. Bar, the soup. The soup. Uh -huh, the soup. And uh, and then they they after a year they they are always asking me hey how how is the balut and I said I don't wake up saying oh I'm crying <laughs> for a balut but it was okay it was okay. <laughs> well, how many times you have eaten balut in these eight years? Not just once. Just once? I uh, I have tried like one in the office and one I was drunk. <laughs> it was like a challenge that those someone you cannot eat the balut and I said. Give me Give two. Me. Give me two. <laughs> I'm Latino. <laughs> I'm Latino. I Never can there, I'm handle Latino. it. <laughs> but that, yeah. that was a very weird experience. Weird experience. It's yeah. weird. It's okay. weird. Oh, no. Would you eat it again? No. <laughs> I'm sorry, but no. I mean, it, it's because, and it's not because of the flavor, because mm. the, the juice was good. Mm -hmm. But it, it's, it's the, the see, texture the, and and knowing what I'm I'm eating, yeah. you know? yeah. it, it's that. But it, maybe if you give it to me and I will not know what it is, just don't look. It's like probably I will. Yeah, but, but it, it, it's just like egg, no? Yeah, it's just like an egg. I mean the egg is like 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 a soup, yeah. like a chicken soup. soup yeah. Like a chicken soup. Yeah, yeah. it's like it's not bad. Soup. It's not bad. It's just because I know what I'm eating. And it could be that. And appetite is gone. Nah, yeah. for me is I mean, <laughs> how many times have I eaten balut? I don't know, many times. Many? Do you like it? I love it. Are you sure? Ah, yeah. Are you really? Are you really? Yeah. Okay. That's your favorite. Okay. If you put salt, no, it's not my favorite one. But I mean, I would eat it anytime. Like an example, we just eat. Oh, let's eat balut. I'm I'm down. I would eat. Okay. So I have. If eat you put salt, teriyaki in balut. So there's te I mean teriyaki balut, adobo balut. Really? Yes. Okay. So you, you're now an expert in balad. <laughs> <laughs> Smoked <Yeah>. balad. <laughs> so yeah. Channel, we also have... Uh, oh yeah, because before blog. I used to do food content. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. So like I have another channel, please go check it out. Oh, nice. No Fear Your Lifestyle. We almost 20k, please go support the team. Yeah, I used to do um, food content before. So, so that's why I got fat. <laughs> 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 but I'm we sure. went some places to do some content. It was awesome. Yeah, we were like, oh, nice. we have been to um, Venezuela. No, Venezuela. <laughs> <laughs> we went to Venezuela together. What else? We went to Batangas. Batanga. We went to 
for the Italian. sixth place. Huh? Sixth place after 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 Lipa, we, Lipa. Not Lipa. After oh. Venezuela. The sixth place where we had the rabbit. Oh yeah, that's where we had the rabbit. Oh. Did you eat rabbit? Did you eat rabbit? Yeah, we yeah. Did. How was it? It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, yeah it just tastes like chicken. It tastes like chicken. Okay. You haven't eaten? No. Not yet. Would you eat it? Yeah. Pampanga. In pam 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 pampanga. Yeah, I went to pampanga. Just we just went there to eat rabbit. Okay. We got there. How they serve it? It's just Rice, like lechon. Soup. Ah, like lechon. Like lechon. Ah, they okay. grill it like lechon. Like the same way they do lechon is the same way they do um, the rabbit. Ah. You will see all the rabbits there. Then you're going to choose. <laughs> I know many people, they're going to be mad because it's like a pet. I know. I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. It's, it's like a pet, but I have... Because it's not something usual here in the Philippines, yeah. like rabbit. But you have to try new things. That's exactly. nice. So that's why you have yeah. to try balot again. <laughs> I mean, I have tried... Hey, I'm not saying it's bad. Yeah. I'm not saying it's bad, but it's just the fact that I know what it is. That's it. Yeah. Now, kare kare, I can eat it Every day. every day, the morning, the afternoon, the oh, yeah. evening, every day, kare kare is amazing. You, you amazing. mentioned lechon kawali. I can yeah. eat lechon kawali, kawali every yeah. day. Yeah. I don't know, awesome. but here in the Philippines, the way that they cook the pork in mm. general, yeah. it's amazing. It's yeah. not, really good. it's not except when they put sugar. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, well, I maybe for us, it's a little. For, uh, but lechon kawali, there's a bit of sugar, no? Huh? Lechon kawali, there's a bit. No. no? Yeah. It's, it's fried. Maybe it's a little no, bit it's sweet, fried. but there's a lot of herbs. That's why. Yeah, a lot, a of, lot herbs. of herbs. Yeah. True. Wow. I mean, okay. is there anything that we did not ask? Did we ask everything? Uh, is there anything that you guys would love to share with us? If uh, you see, it's amazing just amazing podcast. I, uh, <laughs> yeah. I love it. I want to come back. And yeah, for sure. It's it, it, like if you see. Yeah. This has been like over like one hour thirty minutes already. Nice. Really? I'm oh, telling you. Really? How long so is that tea? About one twenty. One twenty. Wow. Yeah. I haven't even realized. I was thinking maybe I don't have too much to say. To maybe say. it's gonna be twenty minutes of podcast. <laughs> it's gonna be twenty minutes of podcast. <laughs> Look where we are right yeah. now. So um, we just wanna say thank you so much for okay. I mean making time for us. We really appreciate. And I'm pretty sure other foreigners they're gonna be inspired by your stories coming here. Um, what, I mean, as a, as a teen, younger, younger. Yeah. I mean, you, your younger version working here now, being who you guys are are right now, making business, making business. Yeah. Before we go, I think I, I gotta ask you guys this: Do you think Philippines have changed you guys as a person? Oh, definitely. 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 I think I have grown so so much. Well, as you mentioned, we came here as as a kids, right? Mm -hmm. 22, 23 years old. Right now I'm 32. So um, I think it has shown me uh, like a lot of ways of life, uh, not just because when we used to live in our city, it's a small city, you know? And here, of course, we are in a in a capital, mm -hmm. which uh, is a, I think this is bigger than even the capital in our country. Uh, so we have learned not just about how to put on a business, uh, but how to be kind with people because Filipinos have shown us that from our from our culture. Uh, we have grown in a, also in a business side of it, where in our in our company where we work, you know. Also, as a couple, we have grown. We have had really bad times where we have had really good times where we are right now. I think it's awesome. Uh, also, we have, I don't know if we have mentioned this, but we have a, a, a pet, which is like our child. Okay. <laughs> we have a beagle. What's the name? His name is Connor. Connor. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no, and oh my God, he has changed our life too. And I think that has a, wouldn't be possible if we were not here, you know? Like if we experience everything that we have experienced. With we the comfort have, of home, it's going to exactly. be different. Exactly. Uh, of course, as I mentioned before, financial stability, which is a plus. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, I don't know. It definitely changes. I will not be the same person that I am right now if I am 32 living in Venezuela. Definitely. Awesome. I think I have personally grown a lot here in the Philippines. Not only personally, professionally as well. In my company, I have to accept that I have learned a lot of things. Even English, as I said, I didn't speak before. Uh, Filipino has shown me 
a lot of good things, even despite of the, <laughs> the bad moments that mm -hmm. they are suffering, they are always smiling. So that's very important for me. And, and I really appreciate it, right? So that's why I can say Philippines is like my second home, right? And I always want to have the opportunity, as I said before, to come back to the Philippines. I want to stay. But, but you know, well, want it to will stay. always be your first choice. Yeah. I mean, that's a, I mean, <clears throat> a beautiful story. Absolutely. Yeah. There, so there's there's. There's mm -hmm. one. There's one thing. I'm sorry. There's Don't one thing that we didn't mention yeah. uh, when we talk about Venezuela. That if our family sees it, they will probably get angry. But mm -hmm. when we were in Venezuela, we were missing the Philippines. Wow. We were counting the days to come back because you, this was already our home. Like mm -hmm. yes, we were there. We were in our actually. With our I family. felt like a tourist there. <laughs> yeah. They, I, I mean, I, I I don't know if I said, but when we went there. For me, it was like a mix of feelings. Yeah. yeah. If I say cross, yeah. cross feelings, because I mean, Everything after different. seven years, yeah. after seven years going and visit my family and see, I mean, I was really happy. But also, it was a little sad because there are people that pass away as well, oh, yeah. family, yeah. friends that are one of my closest friends as well pass away. Uh, my best friends live in Argentina, uh, yeah. her friends as well. Uh, it wasn't, I mean, <laughs> I don't want to cry because yeah, now it's, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it was, it was difficult. It was difficult, yeah. but in some, but of course, uh, I really enjoy uh, stay there. I, I know that I, Philippines is my home as well. Yeah. So I was like, as she said, we were counting the days we were, to come back. We were counting the days to come back here because we it's were like missing the Filipinos, our dogs as well. As well. <laughs> Yeah, three months, yeah. Yeah, and, and we were like, that is our home. Like, here is nice, but that is our home. So we wanted to come back, you know? We wanted to come back. Uh, Andres mentioned something really important. The, because of the whole migration in Venezuela, there's a lot of people that is not there anymore. So we were there, but we felt like tourists, and here we feel home. Mm -hmm. Your home, wow. That's beautiful. So shot a message for, for the Filipinos that receive us so well. Ooh. You got a message for them. A message for them, Andres. You want to? <laughs> wow, I was not prepared for this question. <laughs> <laughs> you were not prepared. But look at me. I have to say thank you uh, yeah. for always be a happy person to for for receiving us as uh, as your friends, as your family, as Filipinos as well. Yeah. The I mean, uh, at least the people that is around us, Filipinos especially. They, they are a family, they are Incredible. friends. They, they are always taking care of us. Like, I mean, making us feel like they are, uh, we are in, our, the, in their oh. house, in their house. Yeah. Uh, that's what I can say. Yeah, we, lo we love the Philippines. Thank you so much for having us. I, I think you're gonna see us here for a lot of more years, I believe. I'm amen, not sure, amen, but, amen, yeah. amen to that. And Thank buy you. the, and buy the, Buy the yeah. product from the yes. store. Okay, guys. You can order our yeah. food yeah. whenever you want. Uh, we will drop here our links yeah. and follow-ups in case you want to try our, our cakes, our food. And I hope we can have a physical store for everybody to go Amen. and yes. enjoy. Amen to that. <laughs> Amen. Thank wow. you, guys. Thank, thank you. you so much once again. I appreciate for your time and thank you for your beautiful for sharing your beautiful stories with us. And... I'm pretty sure many people that watch until the end got inspired and at least learned something about being a foreigner or even a foreigner watching us. Probably you are overseas, you haven't been to the Philippines. I hope you have learned a lot with this podcast. Just want to say thank you so much once again. Happy Ooh. New Year. Check them out. All the info. Sorry. I'm sorry. Subscription. Yeah, subscribe. All the info is going to be on the description below. Please support them as they provide authentic Latin food or Venezuela, Venezuelana, Venezuelan food. Venezuela. Oh, my God, Venezuelan <laughs> food. So thank you so much. And don't forget to subscribe, share with the bottom guy, with your tita, with your... <laughs> share, your share the video with your cuyas, your, your pares, cuya. your tita, your caibiga, your lolo, your lolo. Your ates. And the marites as well. Marites. <laughs> yes, those are the ones who are going to share the most. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. You just have watched the number one podcast in the Philippines. We're gone. God bless Boom. you.